Good morning. It is January 14th, 2023. Welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye opener. Your world in 90 seconds. We did not win. We did not win either. But someone in Maine did. But you know, we should check our numbers just to make sure that we didn't win something else. Like I did the last time. You did last time. You won like 15 bucks or something. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was two. But hey, who's counting? Welcome to the weekend, everybody. I'm Dana Jacobson, along with Michelle Miller and Jeff Glor. This morning, we're going to take you to Scott. I I don't even know what to say when you sit and you watch him explain the things that he explains. He lived through or claims to have even the fictionalized version of what we watch and what we see it plays into his narrative it's been fascinating to watch all of it i can't get enough i admit it <laughs> i'll be watching yeah and this is, this is him reading from the book right? yeah yeah we'll be, we'll right, be back. right back he won't respond with another song probably not i would think not Wow. I got to say. Michelle has nothing. Michelle, That's bad. Know, yeah. That's oh, bad. I got to say. All right. Explaining. <laughs> a Massachusetts man has been toiling in his backyard on an epic passion project for seven years, building a 38-foot wooden sailboat using boards cut down from his own property. With a possible launch now just months away, Brooke Silverbrag had decided to check in on him, and he joins us now. Good morning to you. Well, we certainly wish the best to his mom. Yeah, <laughs> what a story. Yeah. I mean, the community that was <laughs> built around it, that has been built around it, just the idea and following your passions, the people. And Yeah, I, and there's so many things I want to Google. Why lead for a keel? <laughs> I want to well, know. It needs to be heavy and dense. <laughs> <laughs> and I really want to know Google. if this boat, when they put it on the water... I asked him, Does do you have nightmares <laughs> about it sinking? He... Everybody. We leave you now with more music from Aoife O'Donovan. This is Phoenix. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us for more music from Aoife O'Donovan. With a song up for uh, two Grammy noms this week, one for Best American Roots Performance and then the other for Best American Roots Song. This is Prodigal Daughter. 